Installation Procedure. Checking installation conditions. Checking materials. Unpack the packing box and check the RTN 380, AX, antenna and other components. Assembling the antenna. Connect the azimuth adjustment rod and the elevation adjustment mechanical part to assemble the mounting bracket. Use bolts to secure the mounting bracket on the antenna. Assembling the RTN 380AX and the antenna. Apply lubricant around the antenna port on the RTN 380AX. Remove the protective film from the feed port on the antenna. Align the antenna port on the RTN 380AX with the feed port on the antenna. Then mount the RTN 380AX to the antenna. Note that ports on the RTN 380AX for cable connections should face downward. Install the four captive screws loosely on the RTN 380AX and then tighten them in opposite pairs. Installing the antenna. Determine the installation direction and height of the antenna according to the network planning guide. Lift the antenna to the target position. Secure the mounting bracket on the pole and tighten the bolts. Installing the cables. Step 1. Install the PGND cable for the RTN 380AX. Connect the PGND cable to the ground screw on the RTN 380AX. Step 2. Install the P&E cable. Lead the P&E cable through the PG connector. Connect the P&E cable to the P&E port on the RTN 380AX. Screw the PG connector. Step 3. Install the DC power cable. Connect the DC power cable to the PWR port on the RTN 380AX and secure the cable connection. Step 4. Install the outdoor optical fiber. Lead the outdoor optical fiber through the shell, rubber washer and inner tube in sequence and insert the rubber washer into the inner tube. Remove the protective cover from the flange socket and insert the outdoor optical fiber connector into the optical module. Rotate the inner tube to align it with the slot on the flange socket and push the inner tube into the flange socket. Screw the shell. Laying out the cables. Waterproof the ports. Wrap each port with one layer of PVC insulation tape, three layers of waterproof tape, and then another three layers of PVC insulation tape. Binding the cables. Bind a cable tie at both ends of the tape. Prepare drip loops. Ground the cables. Determine the position for installing the ground clip and strip the sheath of the cable with a utility knife. Do not damage the shield layer of the cable. Secure the ground clip and waterproof it. Ensure that the angle between the PGND cable and the cable to be grounded is not larger than 15 degrees. If a cable to be grounded is vertically routed, the PGND cable should be routed from top to bottom. At the tower bottom, you can use a U-clip to connect the PGND cable to the tower. Before leading a cable into a room, use an OT terminal to fix it to the ground bar near the feeder window. Labeling the cables. Route cable ties through the label and bind the label to the cable. Adjusting the antenna. Adjust the azimuth of the antenna. Perform the course adjustment of the azimuth. Perform the fine adjustment of the azimuth. Loosen the bolt 3 and the nut 4 and then slowly adjust the nuts 1 and 2 on the azimuth adjustment rod. You can adjust the azimuth of the antenna by negative 15 degrees to positive 15 degrees. 
After the adjustment, tighten the bolts and nuts. Adjust the elevation of the antenna. Loosen the bolts 1, 2, and 3. Then slowly rotate the nut 4 clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the elevation of the antenna. You can adjust the elevation of the antenna by negative 15 degrees to positive 15 degrees. After the adjustment, tighten the bolts 1, 2, and 3. Checking and tightening the screws. After the antenna is installed and its azimuth and elevation are adjusted, tighten all the screws to recommend torques. 